In this video, we're going to be talking about how to add a link to an element in MicroStation. Right now, I have open a key map, DGN, and you can see there's a clip frame for each one of the layouts. What we want to do is we want to link or add a link to each one of those clip frames that would take us to that particular layout sheet. I'm going to zoom in the upper left corner, and you can see this clip frame already has a link associated to it, so I could show you what it looks like when it's attached. There's a little icon here. If I hover over that icon, I'll see a little pop-up menu, and there's three options. You can open the link, you can edit the link, or you could remove the link. If I choose open link, what that'll do is that will close the file that I'm in right now and open that layout. I'm going to click on it now. You can see the key map DGN was closed and now I'm in layout number one. So I'm going to go back to the previous file. I'm going to use the previous model icon in the bottom left corner and I'm going to demonstrate now how I added the link to the element. So I'm going to move my cursor over the element and right now I'm in element selection and I have it set to individual. My cursor appears as a circle with an arrowhead. If I press and hold the right button on my mouse while I'm on that element the context menu appears. If the element does not have a link already, you'll see an option to add a link. If it already had a link, you'd see the options to open, edit, or remove. So I'm going to choose Add Link. The Add Link to Element dialog opens up. There are three types. There's From File, which is what we're going to be doing. There's Key In. I can associate a key in to an element. And there's also URL. I can attach a website to an element. We're going to be choosing from file. I'm going to click on the select link from file. This takes me to the create links dialog. Now we're going to be linking a DGN file and we're looking in our current project directory and there's layout number one. But I want to point out here files of type, all these different types of files that we can link to. Pretty much anything, PDFs, SketchUp files, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, pretty much whatever you want. But in this case, we're just going to be doing CAD files. I'm going to select layout number two. I'm going to click open. The link target dialog appears. I'm going to expand here. You need to tell it the model that you want to attach. In this case, there's only one. It's the default. I'm going to select it. The OK button becomes enabled. I'll click OK. And because I right clicked on the clip frame to attach it, when I click the OK button here, the link is assigned. And now if I hover over it, you can see I get the icon. I get the option to open, edit, or remove. I'm going to click open link. That will take me to layout number two. I'm going to again use the model previous icon, return back to the key map. The icons that you see displayed that indicate whether there's a link there. These can be turned on or off from your View Attributes dialog. If I open the View Attributes dialog, second column, about halfway down, is Markers. If I turn that off, you can see the icons disappear. If I turn it back on, they're there. They will not plot, so you don't have to worry about that happening. Now there's a little Pick button to the right. If I click on that, there are different types of links, as you saw, key-ins, I can do URLs, things like that. So each one of them can be turned off individually. In this case, I only have models assigned. So that's how to add a link to an element. <laughs>